Hide party people of the internet. How y'all doing? As you can probably figure out from the title, I am doing a Christmas swap with Kenny over at Books in the Void. Obviously, the link's in the description. And what it is is that uh, we basically swapped like favourite snack, a book, a movie. I won't tell you what I gave to Kenny, but... <laughs> Sounds like a tin of Lego, to be fair. I've got the snack Kenny wanted me to try, so... I'm gonna open this. So... It was a song or a movie. I sent Kenny a song and a movie just because I'm extra like that. <laughs> they're, both Chris they're both Christmassy. Can I get this out? Yeah. Um, this wasn't the snack that she wanted me to try, but the snack came with uh, Christmas tea, spiced Christmas tea. And if you know me, you know I like tea. So, winning. It is well sellotaped in here. Right. It's free. The snack was Anna's. I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of this. Sorry, my mum just called. <laughs> Where was I saying? So I'm guessing it's going to be dry ginger because I, I doubt the juice fresh. But like I said, my allergy is not that extreme. So I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. Literally. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can find one that's full. Oh. Little heart. Cute. Oh, they do smell amazing. And the thing is, I love ginger. But I just can't have fresh stuff. I have tea. Cleanse the palate first. Hmm. They're really good. They're not, they're really light, really nice. You know, like a gingerbread man or like a ginger nut biscuits. There's that kind of flavour, but not as punch you in the face. They're lovely and crunchy. There's not that like molasses y kind of chew that you get with ginger nuts or gingerbread men. These are a winner. <clears throat> I might have to hide the tin because I feel like if any other member of this household gets a hold of these, they will disappear. I will see if I can get their reaction on camera to trying one. Hmm. Very good. Let me just get my Kindle and I'll show you what Kenny gave me to read. Secret Santa by Andrew Schaefer. Uh, the gift that keeps on giving. I might actually, I probably just noticed that the mug on here says Phantom of the Opera. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I might just put a picture up here because with my Kindle not showing colour, you'll see the full spooky vibes. I have Secret Santa to read. I've already started it. And to be fair, after the dedication, there's two quotes. A gift isn't a gift unless it has meaning by Oprah Winfrey. And the next one was is What's in the Box by Brad Pitt in Seven. That just physically hurt me to say what's in the box. Because you've got to say it like, what's in the box? Like, what's in the box? I can't say that phrase without saying it exactly like Brad Pitt in the movie. And the movie I'm going to watch is a Swedish movie called Cops. It looks like it's going to be a good time. The movie that I gave to Kenny is such a bad movie, but it's so nostalgic for me. It's one of my favourite Christmas movies of all time. If you want to find out what it is, you're going to have to go to Kenny's channel. My mum called and interrupted me filming to say that she's just nipping to the shop and then she'll be here. So I need to go downstairs. We're getting Chris's reaction to the nummy nummy cookie. Mm, okay. 
Mm. What do we think? <laughs> what hey, I told you. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, as soon as other members of the household taste this, taste these. They will get stolen. I'm gonna give my mum, well, see if my mum likes them. She will not be filmed. So, yeah. I might try and get her reaction, but it'll be just her noise and I need to fix my hair. So my mum's here now. You can get a shoulder. She's holding the cookies. So, she's gonna try them. Smell them first. I'm smelling. I smell all right. I have another one to make sure. <laughs> Can you say that again? I don't think. I don't think. I will have to have another one to make sure. Uh huh. And a yeah. in a few more when your coffee's done, yeah. 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 It's not very. It's very nice. <laughs> Bram's trying to taste the cookies. Smell. Smells of ginger. Uh huh. Almost as if it's a ginger. Definitely crunchy, aren't they? Are you like me? Do you need a second one just to make sure? Uh huh. Yeah. But do you like them? Are they nice? They don't taste gingery. Yeah, they do. Barely. I just had more cinnamon to me. Mm. Not ginger, ginger. Mm, I could taste the cinnamon. 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 Yeah, cinnamon. That'll do. Eh. Okay. Eh. Mm. Okay. So, I'm. Um, Safe leaving the tin down here, you won't eat them all. Well, not, I will. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Wyatt's turn. Pick one. Just one. Good boy. Oh, no, not that one. I want that one. You like it? Very nice? Apparently. <laughs> well, he's not spitting it back out, so I'm guessing that's a good thing. Why it? Oh, it's carrying on eating it. <gasps> Is it good? Yeah, it's okay. <sighs> so it's like five o'clock now. My mum's got a home. <gasps> oh, oh. I come back to bed and I'm just tired. <laughs> and mum's coming over tomorrow as well so that's another big chunk of the day where i won't be able to read edit or watch the movie because there's no way made that my mum's gonna sit there and watch a swedish movie with subtitles and uh trying to watch a movie with, a swedish movie with subtitles well why it's awake is just gonna be a no-go <laughs> hello excuse the state of all of this um if you hear random banging and slamming, Chris is taking down, <laughs> well that's Wyatt, but Chris and Bram are taking down our old double bed so we can move it into Bram's room and then put in up our new bed base. Yeah! I know, right? was planning on doing reading of things yesterday but my mum was here till four o'clock and pretty much after she went Wyatt took a tumble and he was just like no and I, I need my mum all the time constantly so yeah no reading for me by the time i went back upstairs and got into bed i was like i'll chill i'll watch an episode or two of golden girls and then i'll like you know get down to doing something productive no i fell asleep to the point where golden girls were still playing uh chris came to bed and was like turn it off because <laughs> the next episode just kept playing I don't know how I'm going to get things read today. 
because I'm on child watching duty while the manly men are uh, doing, you know, manual labour. What are you doing, Wyatt? Hang on. So, suffice to say, Wyatt's living his best life. So we have our old two, two uh, double mattresses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, the council can't come and pick ours up until like the 8th of January. No one has a car big enough for us to take them to the tip. So we're getting the council to come and take our mattresses away. Um, so right now they're gonna live on the floor of Wyatt's room. Um, and he's completely fine with this. <laughs> he's got a fly swatter. It's his, it's his favorite toy. All the toys in the world, entire chest of them over there bags of them he chooses to play with a fly swatter kids eh so the new bed and mattress is now done um basically we ended up getting a we ended up getting a super king bed because wyatt likes to get in bed with us now and we need we need more space and this thing is huge and it is so tall hang on let me just yeah. Okay. It comes up to the bottom of my butt. It is so very tall. Yes, the bin about the leak. Ugh. But yeah, I'm five foot and a bit. And it comes up to the bottom of my butt. So I'd say it's a good... How many feet would you, Chris? What? How many feet would you say this is off of the floor? I don't know. I mean, when I stand next to it, it comes to the bottom of my butt. No, what, three feet tall, yeah? Five and a bit. That's probably two and a half, three feet tall. Yeah. It's a bed you have to literally climb to get on. Oh. But oh. it's huge. Is it comfy? It's very comfy. The bed's taller than the bedside cabinets. And this is just the bed frame. We don't have a headboard yet. So, yeah. And this is not the final resting place of this. We need to move things. <sighs> this bed is huge. But right now, I'm, I'm going to lay down in said bed and get comfy hi sorry for the mood lighting garnish pasty i ended up eating for lunch triggered my ibs so my stomach has just been cramping and bloated like nobody's business so much pain i ended up passing out around five six o'clock it's now about quarter to eleven i'm drinking peppermint tea to try and ease my tum tum and I hate peppermint tea it's like drinking warm toothpaste bleh but you know if it helps it helps currently on chapter 3 secret Santa no chapter 4 sorry nothing's really happened yet but I'll let you know when it does hi I still don't feel well I feel better than I did last night because oh my god I was in so much pain last night I've done some more reading today I got to chapter 29 of secret Santa and what the actual F is going on? Seriously, I feel like I've like, you know, drunk the Kool-Aid or, or smoked something because it's, wow. <laughs> but yeah, I am planning on streaming tonight, even though I don't feel very well. So I'll probably get some more reading done later on today. Right now I'm just watching YouTube. Hello. So I've had to cancel sprints because oh, so much pain. After I spoke to you last, I ended up having a nap and 
basically the pain in my stomach ended up waking me up from the nap. There's that much bloating and cramping happening in my stomach. My stomach's actually distended. You can actually see my stomach bulging. It's like I've got... It's, it's like when I was pregnant with Wyatt and they kind of like shove on my stomach. I've just got this big hump. I'm just kind of laid here. <laughs> Feeling sorry for myself. It sucks because I really wanted to do sprints because I missed them last week. But you know, such is life. I am going to watch the movie that Kenny wanted me to watch. And I guess I'll check back in after I've watched that. So, I finished Secret Santa and I also watched the movie Cops. The movie was fun. It was very light-hearted. kind of felt like the Swedish version of Hot Fuzz. There's this one character that's absolutely ridiculous, Benny, and yeah, he was the comic relief throughout the movie and, you know, he did not disappoint with the comic relief. It was fun. Secret Santa? Yeah. It was a weird book, but very good. Four out of five stars. The ending was, uh, I loved it. Wasn't expecting it to end that way, but it was good. I liked it a lot. And obviously the tin of cookies. I've had to bring them back upstairs to stop everyone eating them. <laughs> all in all, I would say this is a very, very successful Christmas swap. Thank you, Kenny, for broadening my horizons, both snack movie and book-wise. I hope you guys liked the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!